the situation is really, really dire and terrible. Okay, uh, can you can you say about your experience? In that place? My, my 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 experience is, is really terrible. I mean, you can see I I just finished shedding tears tears of joy that I'm feeling. I mean, I I have to come back to my and I'm going to be reunited with my family uh, very very soon. Now, um, quite frankly, it's not um, the experience I've been through um, in the last four months is not something I would like even my enemy to go through. Because, um, I mean, there was, there was barely food. That, um, I mean, for people to eat, we were hungry for the last three, three and a half months. I mean, we were quite surprised in the last two weeks, we actually, um, I mean, we, we started bringing a uh, food truck that um, we ate and we, 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 we were actually okay in the last two weeks. But then for the first three and a half months, we were actually very, very, very hungry. And when I say very hungry, this is an understatement. I mean, there were days that we go I and mean, just eat it once. We, we eat once in the window on, on certain days. And um, just imagine there are children that are barely one year old. I mean, a child that is barely one year old and a 90 year old person feeding once a day. Just do the math. Just do the math. I mean, when, when you talk about medication, I literally was the, the medical doctor on camp. I was treating the captives as well as um, um, the bandits, or I would say Boko Haram, Boko Haram members. Um, there wasn't medication. To be very frank with you, I we, we had on, on the radio somebody was claiming that um, they would bring medication whenever, whenever yeah, it was needed. There, there wasn't any medication on camp. I mean, we could we could go this. There was a day that a particular lady who had malaria. So malaria, you could treat malaria with a hundred with with, with one thousand naira. But this lady literally was going into coma because there wasn't medication for her. I mean, there wasn't medication for her medium. Uh, so the situation is really, really terrible. Really, really terrible. Any, any molestation between? Well, we, we, we I, I personally did not experience any molestation. But then some women on camp would claim that there were attempts at molestation. But I personally did not, did not experience this. And this happened in the first one to two weeks after we, we were held camp. Your, your, then, your final advice to the federal government regarding the condition of the remaining captives? Well, I, I would like to call on the government to do whatever is necessary to, to rescue these people because um, these people are, are in a very terrible situation, very terrible. They are very hungry. Um, there is no medication. I mean, when, when we left 